Mother, do you know? Did he choose her? Of course he did. But Jesus was once a baby. How can a baby choose her? He was God. Yes, he chose Mary. Jesus told me so. Oh, come along. You always talk such nonsense, Marieto. Now go and brush your teeth. Boys, boys, it's getting late. And wash your face. I will. Come and look. How many are there? 520. We try to give the children the idea that they must be healthy and happy before they're selected by their parents. We tell them if the parents are pleased, they will be themselves. That's delightful. I've always wanted a blonde boy with blue eyes and broad shoulders. You have a boy with brown hair who looks as though he could take over the business one day. My boy, I'm sure that's the boy for me. Which one? Why, the little one. Yes, Marietta. That little boy is most intelligent. How old is he? About six. Perfect. Brown. I'm afraid I saw you punch Tony. He punched me first. Why were you fighting, Marietta? Because he's bad. He wanted to pull the wings off my pet cricket. What will you do with it? Train it, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I think, Marietta? You should give half the cricket to Tony. Hmm. He'd die, Mother. That's cooler than pulling off his wings. Tony doesn't want it. I'd rather set it free altogether. Bravo, Marietta. Have you had your vaccination yet, dear? Why, of course. My wife sees a resemblance to our own boy who was lost during the war. It was our great misfortune. My boy looked just like Marietta. How would you like it, Marietta, if this beautiful lady were your mother? No. Why not? Because she's as fat as an elephant.
Marieto, what's wrong with you? Nothing. I'm tired of something, I guess. I'm just sleepy, that's all. Come on, Marieto. We have to go to the office again. Sister Celeste, when was the war? Many years ago, Marieto. But I want to know how many. Well, I'd say ten years or so, but why do you want to know? Oh, I have my reasons. Come on. Thank you, Sister Chula. Come on, Marito. It's all right. Well, now, Marito, you must excuse yourself to the Signora. You must understand that your mama loves you. Just imagine she hasn't seen you since she lost you in the war. But I don't understand. It's ten years since that old war. I'm only six years old. Please, it's not right to lie to me. Marietto, that's a dreadful way to talk to you. Oh, please forgive him, Reverend Mother. This little boy of mine has been punished enough. He didn't mean it. When we talked of the war, we meant the period of the war. I wish you'd explain to the baby how much he'll like living with us. He will. Of course, while you were in this lovely place, your mama and I attained certain positions. You know, making rolls and cakes is uh, quite important. And as our only child for you, well, you've got a bakery. Listen, son, we've got the best, most efficient oven in Rome. I'm not a bit interested in your stupid oven. It's not important to you now because you're a little boy. But I might suggest you see this oven before you decide for or against. You'll see how happy you'll be with your own mama. But this signora is not my mama. Because my mama wouldn't like it. What are you talking about, Marietta? Yes, it's true. I have a mama already. She is my real mother, and her name is Camila. Marietto, have you gone mad? No, I haven't. Why don't you tell the Signor and Signora that I am the son of Camila? He has a funny sense of humor. But, uh, but who is the so-called Camila? My mama. You see, I stay here because my mama works in that big theater. In the theater? Yes, because my mama's a ballerina. A ballerina? Sister, will you please take the boy away? Where would you like to go? I'd like some candy. Excuse us. No, Mother, let's make this clear now. Of course we want the boy, only we can't run the risk that one day some ballerina will show up and tell us I'm his mother, and then we'll have to give up Marietto. What ballerina? Marietto has a great imagination. He made up the whole story. You're quite sure? Yes. Absolutely? I assure you. It isn't the first story he's invented, either. But if he's that kind of child, maybe he's not for us. That's enough. You're talking nonsense. Imagination is primary if a man is going to succeed in business. That boy, Marietto, is the boy for us. She loves you. She wants you to love her. What do you expect of him? The poor child doesn't know me. My poor child's in rags. Do you think he's sick? The boy's too small. He's very healthy. He's only six years Come old. Come on now, give your grandma a key. No kissing. It's unsanitary. I knew it was unsanitary before you were born. Don't you see the boy's frightened, the poor baby? Please let the child alone. This woman is my mother. She may well, kiss she the child kiss if the I say I so. Not That's right. I Who are you to say my mother can kiss him or not? Oh, you and your mother. What do you know about friend? being a mother? Be quiet! Like I you said be quiet! Kind of I'll talk any way I like! Now you keep quiet! Where's the boy? Where's... Marietto! 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 He ran away! Marietto! You fool! Don't call me a fool! You're the fool! Oh. Always fighting and lagging! Look who's talking about fighting! Look who's talking about...
get a terrible stomachache. That's much too much. I think it's too much, too. Well, it's very good. You can come back tomorrow. Thank you. I guess I will. I like that a whole lot. You have a small bill, senor. Mm -hmm. 385. What's this for? It shows how much money you owe us. No money? And what's in this box? They're pellets for my slingshot, of course. And what's in here? It's a cricket. And are you planning to pay me with a cricket? I will not. My cricket is mine. I don't give it to anyone. Call the police. Let's see what you've got in your pockets. Doesn't look like much. I told you to call the police. All right, all right. Go on, tell him to come in. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What is it? You're having some trouble? You see this boy? He's eaten 385 liras worth of pastry. Huh? And he doesn't have a single lira in his pocket. But I saw a big boy you gave cake to when I came in. He paid for it. So? So you can't eat for nothing. I don't know. Don't pretend you're stupid. What do you think money is for? Oh, I don't know. He'll learn. Oh, he'll learn. This is money. You ought to know what it looks like. Have you ever seen it before? Well, I'm sure I saw it before, but I'm not sure what it's used for. It's used to pay for all the cakes you ate and the sugar and flour and eggs I put in them. Why don't you do something? Please don't raise your voice. I'll do what I think is right. Why, a child's delinquent when he's forced to be a delinquent by his elders. But you didn't want to be a delinquent, did you? Oh, I only wanted to eat the cake. That's the point. Well, my boy, you wanted to have your pastry when you didn't have the money to pay for any of it. You want anything for yourself? What? Well, you have to earn it. Yes, you have to work hard for everything. Milk, bread... And sometimes a little pastry? Yes, if there's anything left over, pastry, but bread first. And the bed. One must sleep, it's most important. If you want to be a good worker, and you have to sweat. Well, I was running before. I guess I must have sweated a little bit, senor. He's pretty young for philosophy. How many cakes did the boy manage to eat? A cream puff, two eclairs, three Napoleons, and if I'm not mistaken, four rum cakes. Oh, he ate rum cakes. Hmm. This? Yes. This? Yes. They're all made according to government specifications, I suppose. Naturally. They're made right here in our own kitchen. Well, I'll take a sample. What for? The Bureau of Food and Drugs requires a sample from food merchants now and then. Take it. Be my guest. You can take all you want. Who, me? An officer of the law doesn't usually indulge himself. We all try to do our duty. Do you know how much we give to charity? Take this as an example. 385 lira. My boy, this should be a lesson to you in honesty. Don't take advantage. Never take advantage. Everyone won't be as good-natured as I am. Now go home and think it over. Thank you. You'll make very good cake. Don't let happen again. Be a good boy. Bravo, bravo. What our youth needs is a firm hand. They're the citizens of tomorrow. For the good of the world and for the mother country. Oh, oh the mother country. This was a question of pastry. All right. Now, my dear public, senors and signori, be prepared for the most exciting experience of your life, an amazing spectacle so remarkable, people have been known to faint in the middle of it.
all this? Isn't that just great? You're a big help. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. Grazie, signore. Thank you. Oh, that's good. There you are. Go ahead. Grazie, signore. Good boy, good boy. An angel. And where is he now? We should do know. Did the boy die? Well, he's not here anymore. Where is he? He's in paradise. That's a good place. You know, you ought to be pretty happy that you met us. If you're afraid to go home, you'll never lack for food with us. The life of an acrobat is very exciting, you know. Always meeting new people. You travel all over, you see the world. Tomorrow, for instance, we'll be working at the zoo. Oh, I know the zoo. I know the zoo. I went there with the sisters. That's why they have the lion. Drink some wine. You deserve it. Bravo. Now we're a happy family. You know how to pull a rope? What do you mean? Can you uh, play the trumpet? Pretty good. You see, you would have a cord in one hand, but nobody could see it. And you have two wings on your shoulders. And you tug the cord, and the wings move, and meanwhile you're playing on the trumpet. I fly? It seems like flying. You're sitting on Giuseppa's shoulders. She walks the tightrope, and you think you're flying in the clouds. Easy on the wine, Giuseppa. But it's not like work. It's fun, too. You'd be happy if you were an acrobat. And I'd be a good mama to you. Oh, my mama's okay. You have a mother? She must be worried about you. I thought you lived with the sisters. Where is your mama? At the theater. What is she, the cleaning woman? No, she's a ballerina. Ah. She turns. <laughs> you know, on one foot. Oh, she's an acrobat like me. But my mommy is pretty. Would you like to see what she looks like? You have her picture? Of course, I always have it. Is that your mama? Nice, huh? Mm. What does it say about it? Read it to us, dear. Camilla, the ballerina. Her debut tonight as prima ballerina in The Princess and the Chimney Sweep may mean an auspicious start for the third season of the Teatro dell'Opera, which has proven its ability to discover exciting new talent. This girl looks even more promising than ever. She must be pretty good, eh? My mom is good, all right. How does she manage when she's working to take care of the baby? Your mother must be looking everywhere for you. Looking for me? No. I always look for her. She's a ballerina, you know. What do you mean? She must care about you. Does she visit you at school? Sure, of course. She comes all the time and with lots of bags. Prosciutto, salami, mortadella, ah, lots of things. Ah, then she things. must love you. Oh, I'm sure because she vaccinated me. What did you say? <laughs> 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 she vaccinated him. Yes, I told you I had a vaccination. And if I don't clean my ears, oh boy. <laughs> He's crazy. <laughs> Sleeping.
What's the matter with you? No one teach you how to drive a car? Especially in this old wreck? What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. You disobey traffic rules. What traffic rules? You know very well, Article 36 of the traffic code. Here we are. Listen to me. To drive a vehicle or auto vehicle at any speed which might in any way imperil another person's life or health or impede traffic is prohibited. But I was only doing 20. Mm. That's much too slow. You see, you were holding up traffic just as the book says. This is serious. But we didn't do anything. Perhaps you think you have the right to too slow traffic and immediately before the, uh, uh, the uh, opera house. Please, I'll have your driver's license. Yes, I'll let you go this time. So much commotion in the house, I can't concentrate. All right, we'll pick it up on the seventh beat. What did you say again? You mean the one wearing the crown? Who's that lady? I said, she's my mama. She's your mama? Yes, I told you. But this is inexcusable. Have you no manners at all? I allow people to come in for dress rehearsal. They just keep talking and talking. What people are these? Who invited you? Who are these people? I don't know who they are. I can't see over the footlights. All right, that's all for now. Please leave, if you please. Come on. Okay. know this boy, Camilla? Mama. Excuse me. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. All right. Why do you keep inviting guests to rehearsals? It's impossible to work like this. I've told you before, Camilla. You're just so disagreeable, Andrea. It's certainly not my fault that you're so nervous. If you want it that way, I'll never invite anybody again. It's fine with me. And what's this? Oh. 
Now, will you explain yourself, please? If you want to keep it a secret, I won't tell anybody. I promise. Keep what a secret? I don't know what you're talking about, my darling. Well, that, that you're my mama. I'm not your mama, dear. Such a silly idea, you silly little boy. Sit down. You must be in trouble. Are you in trouble? I'll help you. At least tell me what your name is. Marietto. And who sent you here, darling? No one. I just got off the truck and came here to you, sort of alone. What truck? Well, those acrobats, they wanted me to stay and join the act. But then the policeman said, but that's the opera house. So I came in here. I wanted to see you dance. But why did you want to see me, hmm? Because to stay with you. But you don't even know me. Yes, I do. See, I put your picture in my little box. I didn't want any of the other kids to see you. I didn't want anyone else to choose you for a mama. But how's a boy to decide who his mother's to be, Marietto? A boy usually has his own mother. At the school we had the sisters. But they weren't really mothers, not mamas. There was a fat lady who tried to make me think I was a son. But I wouldn't take her for a mama. Because I, I wanted you or no one. But why me in particular? Because you're the most beautiful of everyone. I think you might have made a mistake. I'm not beautiful at all, Marietto. Do you happen to like chocolates? I certainly do. Wait just a moment. And don't go away now. Porter, come here, will you? Well, did you have lots of chocolates? You want me to go away? I'm at my lady's service. Please, I'd like you to take this package and deliver it to my apartment as soon as you can. Will you hurry? I'll hurry, signore. Hurry do this, hurry do that. Everyone's in a hurry. The world's coming to an end. I'll tell you a secret, it isn't.
Camilla. No, Filippo. I'm so tired. I'm afraid it's a little too late to talk now. Good night, Filippo. Listen, Camilla. I've been doing a lot of thinking about us today. I want to marry you, no matter what you've done, whether you have a son or not. Good night. Funny. What are you doing here? I'm very hungry. Oh. Will you tell me how you managed to find my house? Sure. I like your house a lot. Thank you. It's a little empty. I just moved. I like it anyway. Well, then, we're hungry, huh? Yes. Come on into the kitchen. Come on. I'll make some lovely macaroni. Well, lovely, I don't know, but macaroni. Sit down. You were going to tell me how you managed to find my house. Oh, I said to myself, when that fellow you sent to your house, you know the man you sent to your house. I thought to myself, that man has to know where you must live. So I followed him. Clever. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just my cricket. He's getting lonely. You want to see my cricket? I bet you never saw a cricket. Oh, he's a beauty. Would you like him? You can have him. You keep the cricket. I'd prefer a little dog. Tell me, does he always chirp? When it begins to get dark, he begins to chirp. Or when he gets hungry. Have you any lettuce? Oh, lettuce. No, I don't, but I might have some carrots or... How about some sugar? That's nourishing. Sugar? Uh-huh. Well, I dropped it. Okay, let's try the sugar. Well, what have we got to lose, huh? It's funny I'm so crazy about crickets, isn't it? But those sisters hated crickets. They always scold. I don't know why, but they do. Even when I don't have any old crickets at all. Oh, they're all right, I guess. Ah, oh, but aren't you happy at school, Marietta? They take good care of you. You should be grateful for that. Well, I am, too. You don't really love your school, Marietta? No. Oh, so you made up this tale that I was your real mother. I didn't make it up. It's true. When that fat lady wanted to take me away, I told her you were my own mother, and I ran away and found the acrobats. 
Who? Acrobats? Yes, acrobats. Don't say you don't really know any acrobats. No. I'll try to tell you about them. Do you know how to pull a rope? Yes. Do you know how to play on a trumpet? Mm-hmm. Probably you could do it. It's all very simple. You sit on her shoulders, I mean Giuseppe's, and she walks on that wire, only she doesn't fall. Ah, uh, no. Who is this Giuseppe? Giuseppe, huh? Giuseppe is the woman who puts you on her shoulders. You pull the rope and you play the trumpet. And then you start to fly because you've got wings. It's lots of fun, I'm sure. They wanted me to stay, me to be the angel, with the wings and all. But when I saw we were in front of the opera house, I wanted to see you. I'm not so interested in being an angel with the wings. I must be crazy or something. <laughs> yes, you're crazy or something. But if only you'd stayed with them, you would have had a really good supper, Marietto. And you would have been in bed by now. And I don't even know where to put you. Oh, so what? As long as we're together. Hello? No, Andre, I'm sorry. It's impossible tonight. I tell you, it's impossible. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm entertaining. Ah, you pretty little hostess. Male or female, may I ask? You're terrible. Terrible? I'm just naturally curious, Camilla. Female? Thanks. It's male. Ah. Who are you talking to like that? Please, you mustn't insist, Andrea. I'll see you tomorrow at rehearsal. Good night. You know, I think you're a little devil. Let's see your hands. You want me to wash them? You know, for you, I'd wash my ears. I really would. I won't insist on ears. Just wash your hands. I'll fix the macaroni. I think I might even have some prosciutto. I said Marietto. I'm a son. What's the matter with you? Oof! Here she comes now. Who's speaking? Camilla, what's going on in that house of yours? Who is this boy that claims to be your son? Since when do you have a son? Ah, you know very well he's not yours, so don't worry about it, my friend. In Schuldig, Andrea. Ich kann dir das jetzt nicht erklären. Ich sage dir das morgen. But why were you talking so funny? I'll talk any way I like. Did you wash your hands? Yes, Mama. Ready. I hope it tastes good. Oh! Ouch. Did you hurt yourself? Oh. Mm. Danke, Shannon. Why do you have such crazy chairs? Someday I'll get good ones. Huh. Well, it doesn't look so bad, does it? And now, let's have a good appetite. Don't worry about my appetite. What's the matter? Does it taste peculiar to you, Marietto? Mine does. It's wonderful. It's so sweet. My goodness. I must have put sugar in instead of salt. Oh. <laughs> oh, then my cricket must have had the salt. He's 
all right. I guess Cricket's life all. <laughs> Are you still pumping that bed? You better stop or it'll burst. I love this bed. It's so bouncy. Where are you going to sleep? Room enough for two, dear. You're such a tiny fellow. Tuck yourself in. Mama? Yes? Can the cricket sleep next to us too, please? Yes, why not? As long as he doesn't chirp during the night. Don't worry, Mama. He's a very good cricket, especially at night. Oh, cricket's too now. Get into bed. What do you think you're doing there? Huh? You're just so awfully pretty, Mama. All Mamas are pretty, Marietto. All right, now go to sleep. I'm awfully glad that you're my Mama. I always thought I'd like to be the son of a mama like you. Because if I weren't your son, we'd be two other people. <laughs> That's enough now. Sleep well. Good night, mama. What is it now, Marietta? Our prayers. Oh, what prayers? The regular prayers. I thank the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh, yes. I forgot. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go on. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father. Our Father. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as you forgive those who trespass against us. What are you doing here so early? Good Lord, see what a mess you got yourself into. You don't even have a proper place for a hat. What's wrong, Andrea? What's wrong? <laughs> the opening hasn't been put off, has it? No, Camilla, the opening has not been put off. But I'm thinking seriously of doing it. You're obviously too occupied to be a ballerina. Your maternal instincts have taken over, haven't they? Why don't you leave that to women who have nothing better to do? I don't know what you're talking about. I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Enterprising little boy sought by the police, the headline says. A small boy of six who had lived at the orphanage of Santa Rita ran away yesterday from a family which had been prepared to adopt him. The police, up until now, have found no trace of his whereabouts and request any information regarding him. Mm, the little fugitive who answers to the name of Marietto, hmm? 
was last seen wearing a black or gray cap, a worn suit, a gray shirt, and patched up shoes. But tell me if I'm not mistaken. Wasn't that the boy I saw in your dressing room? And was he your guest? What's so awful about that? Anybody would be kind to a boy who'd run away from an orphanage. If I knew you had a child, I wouldn't think it was awful. But if I knew you had abandoned him, I'd think that was awful, Camilla. Until yesterday afternoon, I didn't know the child was born. I wouldn't even have known he'd run away from an orphanage if you hadn't brought me the paper, honestly. Oh, come on, Camilla. You live in this house without a stick of furniture. If you want to sit down, you have to sit on the floor because you don't have the money to buy a chair. You won't accept money, much less from me, because you don't want to be compromised under these conditions, dear. Wouldn't it be more sensible to buy a bed instead of having to feed a stray little child? Don't talk so loud. He's in there sleeping. How can anyone let a little fellow stay out on the street when he looks at you and says, I'm hungry? Yes, but why does he have to say he's your son? He told me a crazy story. Marietta's such a sweet little thing, full of ideas. If he were really my son, oh, I don't know. And what do you intend to do with him? You tell me, Andrea. All right, I will. I'll buy him some candy and ice cream and give him to the first policeman I find. He'll take him back to the office. No, if you say so, I'll do it. He'd be too frightened to go with you. But, Camila, my dear, you really must decide. Remember, you're having your debut tonight. You have to go to the hairdresser, check your wardrobe. You can't be a mother and a ballerina at the same time. And remember, you invited me. Our gala night. Ah, I almost forgot. Little mothers like you need some money to pay for gala suppers. Thirty thousand lira for one supper. Do you want salami and olives on the night of your debut? No, no. You'll buy pate de foie gras, caviar, stuffed artichokes, and champagne. Two bottles. Two. And see that the champagne is a good year. Champagne? Yes. Suppose we're a failure. Supposing they walk out on us. Hmm. Salami and olives. <laughs> I'm sorry, Andrea. I hope you get to the theater. It might be a good idea. I will, don't worry. Now, was that a nice thing to do? You could have put one of his eyes out. Impossible. I shot him in the back, like an Indian. Good morning, Mama. I hope you don't catch cold with nothing on. You must be fixing something good for breakfast. At least something smells wonderful. Oh! Ow! Okay. 
Do I look nice, Mama? I should say so. I don't think I've ever been so happy. That makes me happy, too. Here, better have some money in your pocket. Oh, no. If I have you, what do I need money for? You can buy whatever you like with it. Do you know what you can buy for a thousand lira? No, but I think I might get an automobile. Oh, what do you need an automobile for? Not a great big one. A small one made especially for boys. Where are we going, Mama? going? Wherever you like. Then why don't we go and find out where they're playing the music? Come on, children, we're going around again. Do right for the cost of what? Grab the brass ring. Hurry now, hurry. Can I go on the merry-go-round, Mama? Sure, why not? I've never been on a merry-go-round. Are you very brave? Yes. We're going to start the merry-go-round, ride the wild horses, or sit in a chariot. Hurry now, hurry, before we start spinning round and round the world. Climb aboard. Children and mothers are invited. I'm awfully glad that they let ladies get on, too, Mama. <laughs> You can pay later. Thank you. <laughs> Are you afraid, Mamina? I should say not. I'm never afraid. I'm getting dizzy. It doesn't make me dizzy. He may have all the rides he feels like having. Is that enough money? He has a lifetime subscription, Signora. What a lucky boy you are. Look what she gave me, you lucky boy. Sure you don't want to go again? No, you just have a good time. I'll wait for you. You have fun. All right, okay. of Santa Rita.
anyone there? Please? Are you free? Yes, Senorita. Hurry. Where to? See if any to. I'll tell you where. You must be so furious, Mama. I'm sorry. I waited for you when you weren't there, so I walked home. Why did you take off your shoes, Marietta? My feet hurt I walked so much. It was hard trying to find the house. Had you eaten anything? Well, I guess I forgot. All right. You know, when I got lost, I thought I'd try to find you at the theater. But I just couldn't find that old theater. Where is that theater, anyway? You won't be mad at me, Mama, will you? I met some boys on the merry-go-round. It wasn't your fault. It was my fault. I'm awfully sorry. Put the things down over there. It looks as though you got a lot of good things for me, Mama. At school, they usually give us soup and spaghetti. Now that I think of it, I am pretty hungry. Do you want me to set up those crazy packing cases again? I'm very strong. No, Mary, do I have to go to the theater now? But aren't you going to eat too, Mama? I'm making my debut tonight, Mary Ato. I never eat before I dance. Dancing is my profession. What is that, a pr profession? Oh, when you're grown up, you have to support yourself, Mary Ato. What it means is there are lawyers and doctors Dressmakers. And sisters, right? Yes, yeah, surely sisters, too. But I'm a ballerina. You have to work hard to be a ballerina. Are you always a ballerina? Yes, that's my job. That's why I have to go to the theater. You know what the theater is. You were there. Yes, where they have all those pretty chairs, but nobody sits in them. I can't figure it out. Well, at night, there are people sitting in all those chairs. At least, we hope so. And they watch me dance. And if I'm good, they applaud. And if I'm bad, they boo. I wouldn't like it if they booed. If you take me to the theater, I'll applaud. 
I can't, darling. You're a little too young to go to the theater. You eat your supper and go to bed. I'll be home as soon as the ballet's over. It's my debut tonight. Your profession makes me sick. Please eat your supper and go to bed. I'm late already. When are you going to eat? After the theater. Now help yourself to whatever you want. Bon appetit. I wish we could sit on those packing cases. Well, get one for yourself. Oh, I wouldn't bother. Not if you're not here. My mother has a debut tonight, so she's taking a shower. What a funny suit you have on. I was hiring supper. Would you like some? Sit down. Are you going to the theater too? Why don't you eat something before you go? You're not a ballerina. A slice of salami? Or an olive? Huh? I'll eat it. I opened the door for him, Mama. That's fine. What time is it? Half past six. Eat, Marietta. Be ready in a minute. Naturally, you must be thinking that what I told you was a bunch of lies, that I am his mother. No, no, Camilla. I didn't say anything. Then why don't you, Andrea? Mm, I'm tired of this whole thing and how I got into it. You always watch my every move. Boy's still here, I notice. What am I to believe, Camille? Do you believe I planned this specially? On the night of my debut? All right, I didn't have the heart to take him back to the orphanage. He wanted to stay with me so badly. Today, of all days. All right, be angry. I thought of the police, but how could I? He's so little. Then I thought I'd just lose him. And I left him on the merry-go-round and came home. But he found me. He's smart. I'm not going to throw him out tonight. Tomorrow I'll take him back to Santa Rita. He's even eating our gala supper. Poor little fellow, he was so hungry. Oh, how am I going to dance tonight? I'll probably fall on my face. Did you enjoy your supper, Marietta? Yes. I fixed the bed for you, my darling. You get into bed when you're finished eating. I'll be home as soon as I can, and you'll be a good boy and wish Mama luck, all right? Yes. Good night, dear. Good night. Come on. Good night, my bambino.
What do you want? Do I have a wrong number? What number is this? I'm not a number you're speaking to. You're only speaking to Marietto. Marietto. Marietto, are you the small boy who was watching rehearsal with me yesterday? Of course I remember you, Marietto. I telephoned your mama to wish her luck. <laughs> what? Are you crying? My mother thought she'd lost me for good because she doesn't want a son like me. She's a ballerina. My mommy would rather have a profession than to be a mommy. Did she have to go and leave me on the merry-go-round by myself? Marieto. Marieto. I'm from Las Vegas. May I have a word? Just a few. Words. All right, later. Thank you. Just a few. Words. Thank you. Ah, Filippo. I only wanted to congratulate you, Camilla. Thank you, Filippo. I'm afraid there's something wrong at your house, Camilla. Why, Filippo? I called you around 7:30 to wish you luck, but you'd already left. The little boy answered the phone. He was crying. He was very upset. He was talking about a merry-go-round or something. He got lost. Yes? Yes, he said you didn't want him for a son because you were a ballerina. He heard you say you purposely left him alone on the merry-go-round. He said you didn't want to act like a mother because dancing was more important to you. I was on my way here, but I knew something was wrong. I ran over to your house. There was no answer. Where was he? Why didn't he answer the door? I wouldn't... I wouldn't upset you tonight of all nights. Camila. I think something must have happened to the boy. Let's go. Marietto? Marietto! Marietto! going to do. Do something. Don't just stand there. Call somebody or something. Yes, I'll call. Well, hurry, will you? Whom are you going to call, Filippo? Well, you said call somebody, so I'm calling. The police, that's the thing to do. The police? That's the last place he'd think of going. I know that, but the police might have found him. Look, he left a note for you. I'm sorry that I must have chosen the wrong mother. You don't want me, so I'm going away. I am leaving you my cricket because I still love you. Marietto. Marietto. He's changed his mind. Hello? I was in the audience tonight. I think you were the most beautiful thing I ever saw. Will you have supper with me tonight? I am bound much to you. Are you there? I've made reservations at our freedom. All right, let's go. I want to find the child, that's all. What do you propose? How do I know? We just must find that child. What did you do to the boy? He's still only a baby. Disappointed him. 
You don't make sense. That's not important. mother. We came about the little boy who ran away. We read the story in the paper and we thought you might have some news about him. Marietto, yes. You're interested in him too. Since the newspaper printed the story, everyone seems interested in Marietto. Haven't they found him yet? Not yet, no. But don't worry about Marietto. He'll be all right. Well, then, do you have some special interest? Well, yes. We both, my husband and I, might like to adopt him. How long have you been married? A little while. And do you have children? No. No. Well, children, if you both want the child, you may have him with my blessing. But you know what the laws are, don't you? Article 10 is part of the civil code. According to the law, you can have the child for three years. Should you then want legally to adopt him, you must abide by the laws. You know them. No, Mother. Information. Information regarding your mode of life, your financial status, and mass. I presume you do attend mass. Yes, Mother. Let me tell you about Marietto. His mother died giving birth to him. We have no knowledge of the father. He is truly a child of fortune. I must also tell you that he's an unusual and rather difficult child. Therefore, you will have to be unusual parents. You're sure of your choice? We have other less demanding children. Would you like to see a few of them before you decide on Marietta? No, Reverend Mother. We couldn't be more positive. We want one boy, Marietto. I see. I want you to know, though, that my Marietto doesn't hesitate to express his opinions. There was another couple who wanted to adopt him, and he ran away from them, you know. He might be antagonistic before he gets used to you. I wouldn't frighten you for the world, but... But the boy may be absolutely, completely mad. Mad! If you think I'm telling stories, he says he has a mama already. The child has even invented a name for this imaginary mama of his, Camilla. And what do you suppose she is? Why, she's a ballerina. A ballerina. Are you all right? Oh, Filippo. Camilla, darling. Oh, my What God. happened? I was so frightened what you happened, might be Filippo? hurt. Are you positive well, you're you all right? you could have been killed. Who was driving that other car? Wait till I get my hands on him. Here I am, senor. Is he always like this? What do you mean, am I always like this? Do you expect me not to be upset? Excuse me. I was only asking why you're so excited about a perfectly ordinary car. What do you mean? I bought that car with my blood. And you almost killed us besides. Look what you've done to my car, you lunatic. Do you have a driver's license? Who's arguing? It wasn't your fault. It was my fault. I take the blame. I can see he's used to this sort of thing. It must happen all the time. Well, I try to make amends. I always do my best. Yes, yes. And who'll pay for the damages? I will. And what are we going to do now? Get into my taxi. I'll be glad to take you where you like. Please. We were going home. 33 via Porcio Catino. 33. Let's go. Wait a minute. What about my car? We'll tow her, senor. There, that's fine. Uh, no, 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 no. 
She'll be more comfortable with me. I'll take her with me. There you are, signorina. You get in and steer. I'll go slowly. Uh, keep calm. Ready? Ready. It seems to me I've seen you before. I believe mean, you're an actress. Yes, it seems to me I've seen you before. Or do you look like someone I know? Uh, everyone knows a taxi driver is to work, I do. Ah, I know now. I saw your picture the other day. Of course. <laughs> everyone says you're a wonderful ballerina. Here, you see? I have it right here. Take a look. Thank you. That's very nice of you. But I've already seen it. That's all right. You're a ballerina. And what does a ballerina do? Dances. I know that much, but what does she do otherwise? <laughs> it's silly, isn't it? But I'd get so bored if I didn't get into conversation. It's just that I'm interested. We sit in the car all day long. You know taxi drivers that wonder what's going on. I'll ask you a question. What do you want to do? Be a dancer, or really to live? Both. Dancing is my life. You like to drive a taxi, and I'm a dancer, right? That's living, isn't it? Yes, I'll agree, signorina, but do you like it? What do you mean, dancing? Well, for me, what else is there in the world? I suppose if you want to think so, nothing else matters. But I'm going to tell you how I feel about it. I get tired driving. Can you tell me what that has to do with me? Well, Signorina, look at that nice young man we're towing. He made it pretty clear to me that he loved you. He wants to support the family someday. I'd swear to that, Signorina. But how do you know? He didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. A man in love is pretty hard to miss, my dear, and I'm also certain he's going to make a wonderful father and husband one day. He wants a family. What do you want? I? Be a ballerina, first of all. You're saying everything else is secondary? Don't be silly. I'm not saying anything like that. Only I won't give up my career for anybody. That I know. If you say so, only one day you might change your mind. Outside of Filippo, does anyone really care what happens to you? Yes. I think so. A little boy. Ah, uh -huh. you have a little boy? No, I don't. He's an orphan. Oh, an orphan. And he really cares whether you live or die, signorina. Maybe God willed it. And you'd rather have your career than take care of him. You're afraid to love. We said we'd adopt him if we find him. Ah, you'll adopt him. Mm. But love, that's what counts, signorina. You have to admit to love and give it gladly. It's the most important thing in the world. I know what love is. You needn't tell me. I'm sure you do. I just want to know where you're going. I've ridden in a lot of taxi cabs, but I've never had a cab driver before like you. I told you the address. I know the address. Well, then why don't you turn right? Uh, you make better progress if you take a straight road. Stop. Please stop. Why did you stop? What is it now? Look what it says. He's holding a trumpet. Mary! Shh! She looks as though she's going to fall. Not to drink so much. 
Don't be afraid, Marieto. Why should I be afraid? Next time, don't drink so much wine. that taxi driver. He's gone. Oh. Camilla, it's a miracle. 